All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Lunar transfer station to Kalma. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply? Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. Nice. Thanks, Minnie. Hey there, uh, I'm Steve. I'm Carla. And we are the co-founders of Fulbright, uh, and we want to welcome you to Tacoma's Commentary Mode. Welcome! <laughs> Throughout the, the game, you'll find icons like this one um, that will give you insight from a bunch of different people that uh, contributed to Tacoma, you know, people on the development team that did design, animation, sound, and pretty much uh, every other part of making a game like this a reality. Um, It'll be both uh, audio and sometimes visual. Um, yeah. Lots of information. Behind the scenes uh, concept art and other kind of development screenshots and stuff like that. And also on your way back out of this area, when you if you do a full playthrough of the game in commentary mode, there will be some new nodes that pop up in the hub and uh, in Amy's ship. So don't miss those. Thank you for playing through commentary mode, and we hope that you'll enjoy finding out more about how Tacoma was made. So doing the voice recording for Amy was definitely very different from what we did with Sam in Gone Home. A lot of it with Gone Home, since it is something that's very personal, it's very intimate, it's that one person pouring her thoughts out. And then you have something like Amy in Tacoma where she's really removed from everybody else. She's, in a sense, really removed from the story that you're exploring, because she's playing that character that's discovering it just as you are. So, whereas the rest of the crew for Tacoma was all doing an ensemble recording together, so they were actually in the same room, acting together, performing against each other, and getting to talk face to face, all of my recording was done totally separately. I had a general idea of the story that kind of gave me a little rundown of, you know, the scenes that I was in and what I was talking about, but a lot of it was a total surprise, because you sort of don't want Amy to know a lot of what's going on, because I think that it makes it a bit more authentic if the recording is, okay, so you walk into this room, and this is what you're seeing, but you don't know why, so it needs to have that sound of surprise and questioning and exploration that I think comes from really being that separated as she would actually be in that reality. So Minnie is Amy's ship's AI. Do you think she's most known for saying, okay. <laughs> and I, I am the voice of Minnie. When we originally recorded it, it was just Scratch. So we didn't know then that I would be the voice of Minnie, <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> But yeah, it stuck, and it was a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, Minnie went through like a, a bunch of iterations, actually. It was kind of hard to get her right. We ended up kind of settling on the audio direction being like a happy version of Hal, like the really famous um, AI from 2001. So yeah, I just kind of took Noelle's really amazing VO, and, and I would do things like I would time stretch it, or I would take one syllable and like an okay line i took the o and i like over a period of time i kind of pitch bent that vowel sound up so she has a real like sing song quality and i think that combined just with like it sounding like she her voice is coming through a really small speaker makes the character feel kind of rudimentary and then it's all really well it's like voice acting that kind of sells Minnie as being super pleasant and helpful. 
<laughs> I just remember when um, we were recording it, Steve and Carla are just like, cheerier, be like you are when you come into the office or something. And I, I had no idea that I was uh, quite that cheery all the time. <laughs> Positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. A lot of people ask about the use of sign language in Tacoma, um, including asking things like, is Amy hearing impaired? Is there, you know, what, what is the, the rationale behind um, the use of sign language? And for us, it actually came from thinking about how an interface for a non-physical thing like AR might work. Most of our AR interaction is, you know, it's attention-based, it's focus-based, like on where the, the user is looking and paying attention to you. But sometimes there are good reasons for you to do something, you know, physically, and we use uh, therefore sign language for things like signing in. Or in the case of when Amy's recovering one of the AR crew records, she does, as opposed to like text entry, she does full word commands um, in ASL, American Sign Language. Um, and our animator, Noelle, also um, had extensive correspondence with a person fluent in ASL, so. Uh, yeah, it was important to us to work with a sign language consultant so that Noelle could ensure that the, the hand motions and the, and the finger spelling that she was animating were accurate to how someone might actually use those gestures in the real world. Excuse me. 